Hello, I'm Sophia Manicone, I'm 10 years old, and I'm 52 inches tall. I'll be singing The Perfect Nanny, music and lyrics by Robert and Richard Sherman, and reading Forgiven by A.A. A. Milne. So that beetle was his name, and I called him Alexander, and he answered just the same. I put him in a matchbox, and I kept him all the day, and Nanny let my beetle out. Yes, Nanny let my beetle out. She went and let my beetle out, and beetle ran away. She said she didn't mean it, and I never said she did. She said she wanted matches, and she just took off the lid. She said that she was sorry, but it's difficult to catch an excited sort of beetle you've mistaken for a match. She said that she was sorry, and I really mustn't mind, as there's lots and lots of beetles, which she's certain we can find, if we looked about the gardens and the holes where beetles hid. And we'd get another matchbox and write beetle on the lid. We went to all the places which a beetle might be near, and we made the sort of noises which a beetle likes to hear. And I saw a kind of something, and I gave a sort of shout. Alexander Beetle and a beetle house. It was Alexander Beetle, I'm as certain as can be. And he had the sort of look as if he thought it must be me. And he had the sort of look as if he thought he ought to say, I'm very, very sorry that I tried to run away. And Nanny's very sorry, too, for you know what she did. And she's writing Alexander very blackly on the lid. So Nan and me are friends because it's difficult to catch an excited Alexander you've mistaken for a match.